Morning, people. Captain Black here. <laughs> Bloody lights. But they got their uses as long as they're at the right angle. <coughs> well then. Everybody back to work that can go back to work, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the country's on its knees again with people isolating. Well, let's get into that, shall we? So Bojo came out and said we'll follow closely what happens over the next few weeks. But he actually admitted that it's looking like Omicron isn't as bad as they first feared. But you already knew that, didn't you? We knew it before you, but you already knew it. <laughs> and uh, you, you test, test, test again. That's all we're hearing now. You, you're like a bloody stuck record. You, you're stuck in a loop. But, uh, or are you just giving yourself that little bit of room and breathing space uh, to find other ways of getting the numbers up or miraculously find another hidden nasty somewhere? <laughs> I did hear the word uh, Florona banded around. But uh, that can't be part of it, can it? Because it's not part of the Greek alphabet. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Never mind. Mainstream media will um, let us know a week in advance of anything that uh, they're going to discover the following week. <laughs> now... I said the other day that they will never ever blame themselves for any of this. Sorry, but I'm reading again from my notes here that the head's not that clear this morning. I've been up since about three o'clock. <coughs> yeah, they'll they'll never admit any of their mistakes and so but never take any of the blame for any of this, of course. But then yesterday, in a live interview, interview one of Boris's ministers was asked um, about the accuracy of the test, considering um, what Fauci had said over the weekend, basically saying they were a waste of time. They, they couldn't tell the difference between a Rona and the normal flu, apparently. That's what he said, not my words. And his answer was again to blame the public. <laughs> and his reasoning behind it, you'll love this one, people. We are all individuals. And we all have unique individual physiologies. Because of that, some of us will throw out false results. What the f So now we're guilty of being different, and that's the problem with what's happening. Phew, absolute. Kim Bellend. <laughs> what's the point of all the tests then? <laughs> In your own words there, there's no point testing because a lot of people will throw up false test results. <laughs> it, it's almost like they, they just can't dazzle us with any brilliance or intelligence so they're just trying to baffle us with bullshit the thing is bullshit's easier to see through <laughs> you really couldn't make it up yeah that's that's the latest excuse apparently <laughs> still can't complain because every time they come out with this it's usually on mainstream media. And it's those that uh, are laid there in their COVID comas that watch it. And each time they come out with this utter crap, 
they're going to smell the coffee and wake up and start looking for what's really happening out there. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, all, all this testing, you'll keep saying it's surging cases, we've got to protect the NHS. Well, it's because of the fear and that and all the testing that all these cases have arisen. And that's all they are is cases, no illness, no nothing in a lot of cases. And basically you frighten the country into shutting down again. You know, you, you've turned millions of people into bloody hypochondriacs. Slightest sniff, cough, snivel. Whoa, off for a test. False or real, it'll come back positive. Boom, isolation, that's another job done. That's another family that's got to stay at home. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, the, the, you got health authorities now saying they're in crisis because of staff shortages. Because people are uh, isolating after testing positive. Which, in a lot of cases, will probably be false, as the government have just admitted. Well, here's an idea for knobbins. Don't test healthy people. Then you won't get the false positives. Fourth is forcing people to isolate. How hard can it be? Your own fear-mongering propaganda bullshit has got you in this bloody mess. And that's why you're where you are now. So stop whinging. It's your own bloody faults. See, that's what you tell us. Now I'm telling you. It's your own bloody faults. That you're here. Absolutely ridiculous. And I am sick to death of hearing. Save the NHS. There's no NHS left to save. That went out the window months ago. All you've got now is a government-run, prick-and-run service. That's all you've got. <laughs> Jab and jog on. And you wait till they start charging you for this shit. <laughs> anyway, people, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, this isn't the video I was going to do today. I've got about four or five pages there on the police. <laughs> So, uh, but being as that's a, a general one, um, and this was a bit of news that has come up over the last day or so, I thought I'd get it out there for those of you that um, don't watch mainstream media or look at the news. Um, as I say, I do. I wouldn't be able to put these stories out if I didn't. So, but anyway, as always, nice to see the viewings went up a bit yesterday. That, that was really nice really unexpected but uh, the jack boots are still in there they're still deleting comments and I saw some of the comments and I've got the emails from the people that commented there was nothing there that should have been censored or kicked off it's just pure harassment from them so heads up from tomorrow people <laughs> anyway as always my respects to you all thank you for your support thank you for watching and listening Till the next one, stay safe, stay strong, stay free from this bullshit. I'm gone. <laughs>